One of the most magical things in the universe is light. It brightens everything we do. It floats its beams through thin air, and it greatly helps with taking the perfect selfie. Now one innovator is changing light as we know it. And it happened when he started to investigate how to make light levitate. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. Most of us are familiar with light bulbs and wireless power. Do you also remember when you played with magnets as a kid? Well, one man has artfully combined all three into a mind-blowing innovation, setting the light bulb free. As a kid, I was beguiled by uh, levitation and how things float in the air. I guess I was just always fascinated by things that defy gravity. I took a red-eye flight to Stockholm, Sweden to meet American inventor Simon Morris and get the story behind his amazing levitating light he calls flight. I feel like I'm in a dream here. <laughs> is it me or are things floating in the air here? You are in a dream and it is floating. It's a configuration of magnets that holds objects in a sweet spot that we've devised a special array of magnets. Wow, how does this work? Let me begin with the wireless power part. This is a, a copper coil. And when you apply current to a copper coil, it creates a tiny magnetic field. That magnetic field has electrical energy. When you take another copper coil on top of that magnetic field, it can generate electricity. This demonstration, here's another copper coil, and you can see. Transmitting electricity through a magnetic field is one thing. Creating sustained levitation between two magnets is something else. You take two magnets together, they will stick or repel. But for them to actually levitate and defy gravity, you need a special configuration. It's composed not only of permanent magnets, neodymium magnets, rare earth magnets, but also electromagnets. So it's this sort of intricate dance between pushing and pulling that creates an object and allows it to stay suspended in the air. Simon showed me his first prototype, a light that hangs upside down. Let's see if I can get this thing right. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Wow. Okay, so this here holds a magnet and a copper coil. Correct. A magnet and a copper coil, electromagnet, gravity pulling it down. And this pushing and pulling of uh -huh. magnetic fields creates the ability for an object to spend levitate. So this is two applied technologies kind of working at once here. Correct. Simon has perfected the art of levitating objects. His next step, experiments using moving <laughs> magnetic fields. You've got a magnet underneath. That's right. What are the applications of this? Well, you can have a magnet underneath this surface and you can actually put it on motors, move the magnetic base, which allows you to move the sphere. <sighs> <laughs> Simon is working on a hanging wall clock using a moving magnetic field. Inside the clock is an arm that moves the electromagnet around a perimeter of the disk. The brain is calculating the position of the sphere 1,000 times a second. So what's happening here is the electromagnet is actually pulling the sphere towards the disk. Simon says it's theoretically possible to levitate anything, as long as the magnets are powerful enough. His creative mashup of art and physical science makes it fun to just watch time pass by. <laughs> 